cooled off. Ironically, it'll be colder tonight and Tuesday morning with likely less in the way of black ice and frost because the air mass completely dries out. Now, where should we be for this time of year? Two degrees above would be a normal overnight low or a bit below that value. It's going to be cold for the next several mornings. Nine degrees above would be an average high. Well, we'll probably do better than that for most days. This one really stood out to me. The all time record snowfall in this date in history. That was the most single day March snowfall of all time back in 1962. There's nothing like that in our future at all. It's mostly clear in North Van where it now is zero. Very light breeze beginning to spill down over the mountains. Surrey also zero and it's a northeasterly. We'll see this wind swing around and blow out of the east northeast during the night. Quite gusty. White Rock at plus one. Those temperatures are dipping near the freezing mark right across the region because the clouds from last night and the rain long gone down into Washington state. A clearing trend sets up around here. So the afternoon's beautiful. The night's a little on the chilly side for the next little while. I'd say today's high is 11 degrees in the sun. The overnight low minus two. A frosty start tomorrow morning and then a beautiful sunny day. Even Wednesday's fine. It's sort of part cloud, part sun. A touch of frost in the morning. I'm looking to Thursday and maybe early Friday for a cloudier stretch again with no precipitation. It is dry all the way through this week and we're back in business for mainly sunny conditions Friday afternoon into the following weekend. And guess what? That is when the clocks spring forward on Saturday night. We're almost to daylight saving time now.